Hello everyone. So once again, you are here in the Pankaj Sir show, and today I have brought a wonderful person who is going to share the wisdom over over the business. And what should a businessman do during the COVID nineteen? Most of the businessmen are suffering now. So I invite Mr. Sanjay Agarwal, who is a founder of Indogal uh, Crop Science. He has himself made the company, and the company has touched five hundred crore rupees turnover. So he will be teaching you. He will be telling you what should a businessman do during the COVID nineteen. So I welcome Mr. Sanjay Agarwal here. So Mr. Agarwal, I welcome you, and my all the audience can see you right now. Few people are watching us already. Uh, okay. I yeah. want to have a couple of questions from you. After your welcome, I would like to tell my all the audience. You can see the charm over his face today too. you can see that energy he is carrying through the covid 19 when most of the businessmen have lost their energy that's the quality of a true leadership so mr agarwal i welcome you once again here thank you pankaj good afternoon everyone so mr agarwal you are the md of one of the leading company of the pesticides was it your already the reason to initiate the company begin the company or what was there in the back of the mind that you initiated and started the company of pesticides pankaj uh, see vision <clears throat> is art of seeing what is invisible to others and uh, i wanted to create difference in the life of people who i touch in my life i wish to create a ethical platform which can attract people and to be happy mm-hmm. so business according to me is the best possibility and especially agro based and having decided to live my life like a hero of my own movie i started working day and night as a perfectionist but in fact perfection is just a story it's not reality it's a right. process in fact it's not a result and uh, my grandfather had a very clear objective to ensure the quality products for farming community to increase the yield to increase the quality produce and our aim was to deliver value for the farmers hard earned money we work on this simple philosophy and that's the vision of uh, my company to create wealth for the farmers not business with the farmers in fact you can see that our company logo portrays the same the two hand of our logo are indicative of commitment for protection and security and that we stand for great sir great like our most of the economic base based on agriculture and you are working in the favor of agriculture that's a wonderful thing but during this covid 19 our agriculture I is I also get your voice brother Uh, I said, like our entire economy basically depends on the agriculture. Like I this is the your voice is not foundation. You're not able to hear me. Can you hear me? Uh, Pankaj, I'm sorry. I'm I cannot hear your voice. Can you hear me now? Can you hear my voice? Yes, I can. I can. I. Can you hear me now? Uh, Pankaj, uh, uh, need to excuse me. I don't know what had happened, but I can't uh, get your voice through. So can, uh, can let, me, let me can let I me let me do something. Let me let me give me a minute, sir. I'll, let me do something. You can can you hear me now, please? No, still I am not able to hear you. No, sir, I am not mute from here. Like, this is my. Should I should I reconnect? You can just uh, show your thumb. Uh, should I reconnect? Should I switch off and reconnect? Let me let me find out other things, sir. Just a, just a minute. 
Can you hear me now? There seems uh, can, some issue. Can you can can you hear me now? From your side. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Oh. Let me see, sir, if I can do something. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Let me see. Give me a minute. Let me see. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Yeah. I know. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? बेटा इयरफोन्स देना इशू नहीं वाईफाई इशू तो नहीं है इयरफोन दे बेटा आई कैंट हियर हिज वॉइस आई कैंट हियर पंकज वॉइस जस्ट गिव मी द इयरफोन आई थिंक कैन यू हियर मी माय इयरफोन कैन यू हियर मी कैन कैन यू हियर मी Can you hear me now? Sorry, Pankaj. Uh, still, I can you hear me now? Hear you. You are still not audible. I I am connected to two devices, and I can hear. I can hear myself from both the devices. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me now? So, Mr. Agarwal, can you hear me now? Um, audience, let us see the issues. Hello. Yes, you can. I think. Hello. Um, audience, let us see the issues. The. Mr. Agarwal, can you hear it? Mute. कहाँ से? किस वजह से नहीं आ रहा? देखा मैं। नहीं नहीं स्पीकर तो बंद है। सर आर ऑडियंस इज़ एबल टू हीर इस। एम आई ऑडिबल टू ऑल ऑफ़ यू राजीव यू जस्ट सेंट मी मैसेज। ऑल द ऑडियंस कैन हीर इस। माय व्यूअर्स, आई कैन्ट लिसन पंकज। Uh, but under all the audience can hear yeah, us, sir. Yeah. So I don't know. Means I can't hear Pankaj. People can hear me. Yeah. Pe people can hear you, sir. People can hear me also. Pankaj, do you want to reconnect me? Uh, please, sir. Please. It's fine. You can uh, uh, leave there and then reconnect. Leave option is there on your screen. I'm really sorry for to my all the audience. Mr. Agarwal is reconnecting with us, and I'm sure he's going to share the pearls of wisdom and the nuggets, which will basically change your entire mindset about the leadership. It is all technically. technical problem and it generally happens this is live so it is visible to you all whenever we do live no so uh, i generally call it a theater theater be because 
you know uh, in theater you cannot make a mistakes if a mistakes happens uh, and all the viewers and the audience can see it now let me reconnect with mr agarwal and see if he can hear this time if you can hear me you uh, arnav yeah just put can you hear sir now sorry guys no issue sir good. you there is a option it's good that on your uh, screen leave uh, we leave all option are leave and then reconnect this it has connected all of us but maybe sometimes uh, audible issues or sometimes visible issues may be there but let's be positive about this also definitely uh, we all need to be positive about we, all this maybe maybe we can bridge our communication through one of my person and he can be i can use a speaker phone to hear you he yes just a moment i'm i'm trying that out so this Location, happens in the technology uh, yeah yeah so pankaj you can speak i can hear you i think ah great this shows the basically leadership leadership is all like how do we connect in the crisis aawaz nahi aa rahi hai sir mujhe to aa rahi hai aapke bilkul mic ke paas rakha hua hai apna speaker lagao nahi mujhe pankaj ki aawaz aani chahiye na to when pankaj speak you you connect uh, you go near to your speaker yeah see this is uh, the leadership and the uh, leadership matters a lot uh, waiting are okay so it's fine uh, can you hear me now sir uh pankaj let me connect you on my mobile let me connect right, you sir. on my other mobile i'll do one thing sir i'll give you a phone call from another phone nahi link se ek bar detach ho gaya na to we will be disconnected on no sir you can reconnect once number kya hai this side this side call pe aha ruko 92153 beta mere hi number hai na 343 ये मेरा मोबाइल है ना पंकज आई एम कॉलिंग यू बाय एन अदर मोबाइल नंबर सर बट दैट फोन इज ऑन माय फोन नो या ओके नाउ नाउ यू आर ऑडिबल नाउ कॉल फ्रॉम अनदर फोन नो यू आर ऑडिबल टू मी नाउ यू आर ऑडिबल यू आर ऑडिबल नाउ या 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 सडनली so some magic happened some magic happened now am i audible yes you are audible and you are too, ah, too great <laughs> you can you can reduce your sound your uh, it's a little loud please now tell me yeah yes uh, sorry friends sorry guys uh, it's all technical so we, issues yeah and it happens we, and so, there how we show our leadership and mr agarwal has shown his leadership some of the okay. leaders give up but you know the aspiring leaders they never give up because they are the inspiration for us thanks pankaj thanks for complimenting so so my question was from you like uh, you told about your grandfather how you started the company and all right and i was yeah. telling we are basically the agriculture economy india is a uh agriculture economy yeah so this is wonderful to see people like you working in the agriculture business and all and the, the time you said you don't do the business with the farmers you basically yeah. work with the farmers that's we a wonderful for, thing we work for the farmers for the with farmers. the farmers with the farmers and for the farmers yeah great sir hmm. so most of the time we see today industrialists have inherited the industry from their parents but you your grandfather your father was in a same type of business but not in this business they were not the industrialist so how the idea came to start manufacturing it 
yeah pankaj <laughs> basically i am uh, for this agrochemical business i am the third generation and right. my grandfather put the seed there after we had a joint family and it's not that uh, uh, means i started this company along with my father but earlier it's a parental agrochemical business and uh, mm-hmm. we had a joint family and my father used to garden the health of uh, that joint business and uh, i had been passionate about chemistry so far as uh, i remember gradually learning by experience i gathered my knowledge in agrochemicals and uh, when the family business split being ambitious i took the first step someone has uh, truly said that ambitious uh, ambition is the first step and uh, towards success and second step is action and uh, i never turned back after that now Great. walking Wonderful, steadily sir. yeah now walking steadily towards becoming a global brand creating a global identity of indogolf and for my parent for me my parents holds the foremost position in my life and then my guru and then god my east god is uh, my east god uh, is uh, lord shiva so it's uh, inspiration from my father and uh, his support that i am able to generate this uh, you can say karam bhumi named as indogulf where all uh, my indogulfians my team members perform as per their best to deliver the best and to get the best i salute right. all my gurus for carving and grooming me to create a unique culture in my you can say indian multinational company uh, and we have associated company in indo gulf in us and in australia where in in our company we work both with mind and heart unlike the multinationals who work with mind only this is what my perception is and uh, you can say that uh, we are a professionally driven emotional company this is what i feel for my company all right wonderful sir and uh, people reaching at that level when they are attached to the ground and they show their their trust in the god that's a wonderful thing because first gods are the parents and then the god is god sir that universal power yeah so when you face crisis in the company like if you have been running a company for 15 years or 12, 20 years so there are always sometimes the downfall the crisis come so how do you handle those crises and share some of the incident jab bahut bada crisis ho gaya ho aur sab kuch down tha aur then you overcame the crisis aise aisa koi incident share kare aap yeah pankaj see ups and downs are the part of life and right. uh, with the uh, god grace and with blessings of my parents i had never faced such uh, any so difficult situation but yes uh, in december 2016 uh, one accident one of the major fire broke out in one of our uh, uh, manufacturing facilities and we were having a lot of export orders at that time and uh, we were really it was a really uh, means a tough very tough day and uh, but we never gave uh, gave up and uh, with the support of uh, my pledged uh, indogulfians my team and my customers of course we were able to successfully put our business back and with the reduced resources at that time uh we had reduced resources but uh, hope determination and uh, the grit and uh, mm-hmm. aspiration to reach the peak that was there and it's rightly said that uh, sometimes when things uh, are falling apart they might actually be falling into place so uh, this had uh, this is what had happened and uh, i feel that uh, wise people they don't cry but they keep on trying they don't give right. up but they they don't give up but they live up the challenges so this is my perception this is my view point towards uh, the life 
what was the mindset that time when when you got to know that your manufacturing plant has been into the fire now so what was the first thought came into your mind see uh, that was one of uh, extraordinary uh, infrastructure uh, and uh, uh, touchwood uh, very recently last four months back we have started that uh, facility again we have oh, remembered that facility that. yeah thank you so uh, in fact we had four facilities all together so this was one of the facilities where we used to cater our export business our export production majorly so but other units were operative so yes it was uh, a financially difficult time you can say and uh, the pressure a little pressure was there but uh, with faith in god we came up and yes i praise my team for this they really uh, did wonderful that time every time they are the best great sir because and then how do you keep team motivated because when something this happens the team lose uh, like uh, their determination sometimes and their hope so at this type of the time like how do you motivate the team how do you keep them energetic see keeping uh, the team energetic that is the important role of uh, a promoter of a leader and uh, uh, first of all to be coachable that is one of the important quality and uh, mm-hmm. in every discussion of mine with my team i tell them that uh, education and learning they are never ending so uh, we, we all have to be coachable first of all if we feel that uh, uh, we know everything and our glass is full of uh, knowledge i mean our mind is full of knowledge and we don't uh, uh, means uh, grab what we get from the universe so uh, my team is uh, in that transformed stage and everyone is willing to accept the changes for betterment which can grow the company which can grow themselves so i am really happy about that so team uh, we do a lot of training programs as well uh, this lockdown has created an other dimensions in these trainings webinars have come up and uh, my team often on are uh, on different different webinars depending on their profile like hr team uh, and qc team and uh, export team and brand sales and purchase everyone means they are developing their skills through webinars so that's uh, that's one of the blessings i will say <laughs> of this lockout uh, so i think uh, everything comes with some blessings like that's why we yeah. say there is always silver hope um, yeah yeah in the darkest darkest time also there is a silver hope that's what the lockdown yeah. has created and yes. i was basically trying to have your physical interview such a long time but i could not ever have it and lockdown has given us an opportunity to connect this to the technology now and ask you some of the questions which can be helpful to our audience mm-hmm. this is sure this period is particularly is covid 19 lockdown shattered mm-hmm. a lot of business and yeah. in your business also like transportation has been shattered now so you cannot transport your goods one from one place to another place shops have been mm-hmm. shut down so how do you yes. manage this covid 19 and please share what should the businessman do during this time so that they can enhance their business or they can give a peak level of the business once the lockdown is open what should a businessman do and what do you do yeah pankaj you are right this uh, covid 19 has uh, changed the perspective and the way of doing of all of us in fact uh, for me i feel that uh, i was on a swing lot of actions in mind but no movement physically and uh, lockdown came as a opportunity for everyone to unlock themselves mm-hmm. you have uh, yeah you have time and uh, this unlock uh, this sorry this lockdown has uh, ignited some of the slept talents some of the slept creativity some of the slept relationships in fact and it is the time it's not uh, 
the com- only the commercial relationship even the social relationship even the family relationship so um, i take it always positive so this uh, uh, this time has created a lot of uh, uh, skills in uh, people who wanted to develop who wanted to use this time this time has taught us to live in less to live with less so for me one of the important breakthrough uh, during this lockdown is that i finalized one of my joint venture company uh, the name is indogulf pharma llp so, so that's the Great, uh, well, one of the this. thank you so i have been working on this project since uh, last 4 5 months basically to export pharmaceuticals so this uh, opportunity wow. um, uh, this uh, lockdown gave me opportunity to plan it out to think over it and uh, we established this company uh, we already have been into uh, some fmcg products as well by the name of giraffe and uh, yeah we had uh, floor cleaners we had uh, hand washes detergents so with this uh, recent demand of hand sanitizer we uh, developed a new range of hand sanitizer both gel as well as hand rub and both ayurvedic as well as uh, you can say medicated or allopathic so we came out with this range as well some packagings are a little challenge but uh, yes this is one of uh, means this is the second breakthrough in this lockdown it came as a opportunity and we started this uh, hand sanitizers also in our giraffe basket uh, right, we sir. created yeah we created some online structures uh, online meetings uh, for my team members and now everyone knows that to be physically present for any meeting or for any discussion is not so important you have so many tools and you can be more uh, uh, disciplined you can say more communicative and more disciplined because when you do this uh, web meetings then you are prepared with your agenda you know the time and you becomes very much scheduled with that so this yeah. is a learning for my team as well in fact i was not very much equipped and very much acquainted with the, these uh, technology. Zoom technology but this period this uh, had helped me to learn about this and use this uh in this period so, we uh, yeah so should i continue i was asking like what should yeah. other yeah, businessmen yeah. also do at like lot of shopkeepers are also doing work with you yeah, so yeah. what do you guide the shopkeepers see day to day we are in touch and my team is also in touch because uh, our agrochemicals has uh, come in the essentials commodity see india is a agro based economy and uh, every day we are hearing the news the uh, harvesting is on the peak and farmers uh, need not to be short of uh, the agri inputs so we have been in touch with them so uh, during this period every day twice a day i used to share some videos in fact we prepared one uh, manual for this uh, covid uh, for training about this covid to the rural people and uh, uh, educating the people so uh, that's a part of our csr so in fact uh, for for businessman i would like to say that this was the most important time uh, which uh, we can uh, use for planning those things which uh, for which we don't get the time in our usual operations because uh, everyone is busy in operations uh, practically sometimes i go to office in the morning and come in the evening and i think that what i have done whole day i could not do anything but these okay. days when when i can concentrate i can focus on all uh, the specific uh, you can say backlogs you can say uh, some revalidation projects or so there are many projects which are in the side bag of every businessman so uh, the project like my indogal pharma was in my side bag i was not very serious about that rather you can say i was not getting much time from my day to day business of agrochemicals so this is the time where businessman can think 
of new avenues new possibilities and uh, reorganize the things which may have been uh, spilled over the past that like you mean to say like this time businessman can discover themselves unlock themselves and put their time and efforts into their new venture or they can reorganize all the things what they are already doing so yes, that once a lockdown opens yeah like th- that would be a, a great height for their business then yeah yeah for example that is, that is what you said like for my various departments we discussed about the different things which had been the ongoing projects but not matured for example there were some manuals like uh, so you can say sales manuals or hr manuals or development manuals so they were lying on uh, without any validation since last 3 4 years so i they they got a task to revalidate these things my uh, factory quality assurance team they got the time to revalidate the specifications area and uh, some very very interesting cost saving uh, things came up because they were focused on some some those issues which uh, uh, don't get priority in the routine operations mm. right sir so uh, do you organize some trainings for your team members like motivational trainings yes of course uh, in fact uh, we have recently launched uh, a program icl uh, eclat means indo gulf crop science limited excellent corporate learning and training program which is focused on the product training the skill development uh, and uh, the soft skills of the people working in the company and uh, um, for the farmers we uh started a very unique project school on wheels which are, which was a part of indo gulf uh, farm coaching and uh, mm-hmm. that was a, a unique program where uh, my train means my trainers we used to train the trainers so my trainers go into that uh, it was a bus education bus and used to train and those trainers used to train further so it is basically mm-hmm. like like corona is multiplying so you multiply the education the multiply the knowledge yeah yeah right. so uh, that was one of the idea and uh, recently working from home was a very powerful webinar which most of my team has learned in the beginning only and they are now equipped with many tools many google tools many microsoft tools many new tools which can help to organize uh, their operations their business their activities much uh, much uh, strongly than earlier do you think the motivation works like like motivational speaker really motivate the team members yes of course see uh, motivational speakers uh, what i feel because i i have been uh, a coach also and uh, i have been a student also and i want to continue as a student until my life so uh, great spirit sir um, co- yeah coaching is one of the things thing which uh, develops the skill everyone has the skill like these mm-hmm. days one of the serial is coming ramayan uh, ramayan i was very uh, young and i saw but now when i saw that ramayan i see that ramayan every serial has the impact on the life and that that in itself is a very motivational uh, learning for everyone so uh, i have been uh, uh, coached by landmark forum success gyan and some of other international uh, education forums and similarly my team also i keep on extending depending on the skill set depending on the profile uh, so motivational speakers have a very important role they open the eyes they uh, because they are uh, a new face to the company they are new face to the people who are listening and he comes with mm-hmm. a, some new ideas he ins- he can inspire the people with his own life in his own life experience so maybe if you um, grab just 20% or 30% out of that that may change your life my life has been changed by coaching only a uh, coaching and a motivational speaking they both are different things 
Yeah. I do agree coaching helps a lot, but I contradict yeah. with the motivational speaking. I think the motivational speaker uh, they pump you up for a day or a two day or three day, then the energy goes down. There's a difference between training, speaking and the coaching. Training and yes, coaching yes. they help us a lot, but when yeah. it comes to motivational speakers, only mm. cool motivational speaker. They come mm-hmm. motivate, they go back and the team is pumped up for a day or a two or three days or four days it comes back. Mm-hmm. Like, they don't give any technology in base like they don't tell you what to implement in the life they just give you some motivational story they pump you up and then they, they go so my yeah, basic think... question was about motivational speaking yeah you are right see motivational uh, speeches are like some you can say it's a kind of medicine when we are in a certain stage when when we are in certain situation and we need uh, some energy so those mm-hmm. uh, speeches those motive <coughs> sorry motivational speeches add value uh, rejuvenates and uh, increases the energy increases the speed of the organization of the people working in the organization it's true yes for the long uh, lasting effect it needs to be uh, these distinctions needs to be experienced and the uh, like coaching and uh, learning or you can say training they give you certain distinctions in the life and those distinctions when you follow and uh, for example uh, i say that uh, i was a very angry man uh, 20 years ago you can say very very angry man i i can now see people who are very angry and then i relate myself with them and uh, i did a forum i did a coaching it was not a motivation so the difference will be clear about coaching and about motivation here so i did a coaching and uh, i got a distinction there and i used that distinction and when i used that distinction i never get angry so that's uh, okay. that's a difference between uh, coaching and being motivated so when you are coached and you get it you get that knowledge it's not learning it's getting that knowledge when you get getting that knowledge it. yeah when you get that knowledge and then you become uh, means available to it then uh, it changes your life definitely so like in the beginning of my career i tagged myself as a motivational speaker but for the uh-huh. last three years i don't call myself a motivational speaker i think motivational speakers uh, cannot help the people's much they can pump only for some time now i have been into like i love giving the motivational training in place of motivational speaking because trainings do bring the impacts in the life yes i fully agree with you pankaj I would like my audience if they want to ask something. <coughs> some audience they want to have some question. कोई भी question आप पूछना चाहें business business relevant something do ask. You rarely get some opportunity to ask that also like answered by the person who himself running a a big company. Any business related question? Anyway, sir, we'll see if somebody comes and comes with a question, then the person will definitely ask. I yeah. want to ask you one thing: when yeah. uh, a businessman is doing the business, what should he focus on mainly? कौन सी ऐसी चीज़ है जो सिर्फ एक एक या दो चीज़ जो बिज़नेस को एक हाइट पे लेकर जाए? जो हर बिज़नेसमैन में आपको लगता है कि होनी ही चाहिए या हर बिज़नेसमैन को करना ही चाहिए ऐसा? i think passion passion about his business that is important he should be passionate passion about it a lot of people are passionate but still like what system do businessmen adopt to scale up there are a lot of businessmen i see they are very much passionate but they cannot scale up the business like for scaling up the business what should be required see for a business uh, business uh, as per my learning has five stages so in the primary stage uh, you yourself has have to collect all the resources you you become the one man army for all the decisions so uh, in the second stage you have a team doing so and you become a, like a orchestra player you become a person behind the show and your team starts mm-hmm. doing that uh, stage 3 comes when you start developing your systems and then the systems run your company and uh, uh 
next stage is when you want to become the public when you want to become public you want to come out with some ipos and something like that and uh, fifth is the culture of the company where when the company is called by its culture so it is all the age of the it all drives with the age of the company so depending on the age of the company depending on the age how long the entrepreneur has been into the business so he has to take the decision as per his situation as per the, the situation of his company whether it is a 5 year old company or a 10 year old company so most important is the customer base customer uh, for me like uh, a businessman should focus 60% on marketing because there is the money which lies marketing creates money and 20% on operations and 20% on the production part or maybe the purchase part if he is a trading company so but sometimes a businessman gets messed up in the operations only or maybe in the production only and he cannot spare himself for marketing so this is one of the very common thing which i uh, had observed uh, and uh, myself was into this kind of uh, you can say uh, situation Situation. quite a few years yeah quite a few years ago so once you understand that it's basically marketing which can bring you money which can bring you the growth and you start working on new ideas you start working on the uh, for me like business i have told you business is nothing but identifying a problem and mm. creating and just innovating a solution for that and that that problem is your money once you mm. identify a problem for example in my uh, business agrochemicals many companies are doing but some problems were there like the packaging aspect that was one of the area which uh, in which my company is very much expert into and uh, we brought revolution in the packaging area we uh, brought some packagings which were so user friendly and we gave the solution to the farmers problem where there were lot of spillage there were lot of wastages in the field so identifying a problem and then uh, educating its solution and then you make money by that business right you mean to say a system should work in a business and if a system is there then we need to adopt few things we need to take care of the pain areas of customers yes and we need to uh, uh, resolve those pain areas <coughs> yes as That's you right. spoke about marketing i generally when i will go to some annual meet or something i sometimes say see salaries then the product the manufacturing the depreciation this in the ledger is at one side and the sales in the different side so sales yes. becomes very important part but some people call sales and the marketing are same do you think sales and marketing are same or they work together or is there any difference between sales and marketing see for me marketing is a broader uh, perspective sales is a part of marketing and marketing includes uh, how you project yourself how you present yourself how you develop your business and how you educate your customer and you create uh, the pull demand for your products that is marketing and marketing. Uh, sales is sales is basically uh, you just have some orders and you supply those orders that is that is a part of sales this is uh, what i feel when you mean to say the first is marketing which sells the product so sales is a secondary part of the marketing the marketing is a prime very primary and the marketing helps to sell uh, yeah marketing is a big um, uh, is a is the umbrella and sales umbrella, is a part right. of that yeah sales is a part of that umbrella marketing includes development marketing includes uh, training it includes uh, awareness it includes branding it includes a lot of uh, activities so there is a question for you is indogal planning to get itself listed in equity marketing equity market like if you are planning yeah, to so get listed this question this question relates to my finance department <laughs> <laughs> so anyways yes of course of course uh, in coming times uh, definitely indogal is uh, going to be listed 
and uh, last uh, one and a half years we have been working uh, for this also at suitable time indo gulf will be going to list itself sir uh, mr rajiv narang he is a fellow speaker although he does not know me but we have a common friend coach othar shari and i think he has spoken in your company once or twice so not, mr rajiv narang is saying sanjay agarwal marketing well explained you explained marketing very well yeah thanks rajiv and rajiv rajiv is uh, one of the person behind transformation of indo gulf uh, our company was named as jayshri and we became indo gulf and he was one of the core uh, leader uh, right. for this transformation in our company thanks rajiv so mr sanjay sharma is asking what are the main reasons why no business is running he is asking like question is ki why no business is running working right now why no business is running means uh, in the present situation in the lockdown present. situation he has not mentioned that no because uh, these are two different perspectives one is business not running during the lockdown and one is a general aspect about the country's uh, i business. think he is asking for the general aspect yeah so again it's uh, the perspective how you look at uh, for me business is working well so uh, uh, thanks uh, mr sharma for your question so i think uh, uh, something needs to be introspective introspected into the business which you are into so maybe uh, some problems you can identify in the area in which you are working into and just look at the solution this is the mantra this is mantra which i has uh, i had tried myself and it works so mr sharma uh, mr agarwal has explained it well but i would like to explain it once again what i believe is business always works if you are resolving the issues and the problems of people we need to look at the problem and create the solution the time you are having a solution i think you are able to sell it most of the people are basically looking at a problem as a problem when you start looking at a problem as a solution you can create a big business big empire i think a simple solution you can uh, see the iphone so, iphone like uh, he has created a solution in one phone why we call it a iphone intelligent phone steve jobs gave the music in it videos in it cameras in it he made the iphone as intelligent phone so he it was a prop solution when you make people's life comfortable by some technology or anything you are able to run the business sir so shama ji i think i have also helped you in the same some suggestion for the new business or startup so there is a boy named dikshit narang he is asking some suggestion for new business or a startup he wants to take your ideas <laughs> for a startup business so uh, dear narang first of all congratulations that uh, you have generated an idea to start up a business so that's that's the first step and i think uh, the vision you have created for your business that will hold you all the way to uh, uh, reach your mission and uh, for a startup see i always say that uh, it's uh, the understanding of the subject that matters so now there are many resources the world has become so uh, so close by these technologies and uh, before starting up any business we must know the entry and the exit point of that business so uh, my best wishes for your business uh, dear but he was asking a question any suggestion so that he can start a new business like he basically wants to take your idea of a business if you have some idea of a business please share with him so it uh, it seems that uh, he has not yet uh, decided about his business he he wants to do business this is this is the only idea he have that he wants to start a business right 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 yeah yeah so he should identify what what inspires him what inspires mm. him a lot 
and uh, because once uh, the thing which does not inspire a person uh, most of the times he does not get through out of that so identify oh, what inspires you uh, identify uh, the typography the people you want to serve your target customers because uh, that is the most important as i said that marketing is most important so identifying which customer you want to cater and in fact uh, the more you can dissect your vision into means sometimes say a cosmetic industry uh, they produce a lipstick so their target customer is a women and that women of a specific age group so they become a very very specific target customer so similarly it's important what you are passionate about what inspires you a lot and what target customer you are you want to cater uh, i think this will help you out uh, in choosing your business so uh, mrs truna mehta is asking what is the impact of covid 19 on agriculture on agriculture this is the harvesting time and uh, the government is uh, uh, becoming flexible for the for uh, movement of farmers and uh, for the agrochemicals for agriculture input industries also uh, for their logistics issues and uh, for their for the warehouses and all those things definitely it's a big challenge and it's not a challenge in india it's challenge across the globe we are uh, exporting to many countries and uh, because of logistic issues the things have come to a stand still if we talk about india in india we have two seasons one is kharif season one is rabi season kharif season is about to start maybe another 15 20 days if situations become better so i don't see there will be much impact on the production of this kharif season or any any much impact on the agriculture yes if the things prolong or if the farmer is not able to uh, harvest and then take the next crop then it may be uh, challenging but uh, i have full trust on my government and they are taking the suitable steps i am very much hopeful that things will become better in next 15 20 days and uh, the things uh, will not be having much impact on the coming agriculture season some inputs uh, some raw materials will face a little shortage it will be a temporary phase but uh, we are geared up for this uh, hope for the best because uh, farmers uh, they they deserve much much more than all of us sir like uh i'm very happy to hear this like the covid 19 has no impact on the farmers because farmers are the backbone of a country and our country is basically agriculture country although now all the like other businesses have entered into the economy but there was a time when our 60 to 70% of the economy depend on the agriculture now also i think like most of economy depends on agriculture because these are those like people who go in the local Uh, markets and do the shopping and there the circulation of the money and the funds happen and once they don't have money i think and that economy will freeze somewhere so yeah, this is I, very good to know this that farmers don't have much of the effects of the covid 19 so there was a question of dikshit narang some suggestion for a new business or a startup which mr agarwal has already answered but dikshit i want to tell you something first find out what makes you happy see Uh, some people are happy sitting for the long time then the software is a good option and the, there can be the other option that some people love traveling so choose a business which makes you travel a lot and choose the business first which makes you happy then see once i choose it then can i solve the problem of people if i cannot solve the problem can i make the people's life comfortable if you keep these two points in the mind making people's life comfortable or resolving their issues your business will go always think of the problem of a people problem of your client their mindset 
then think what should i start i think this would be a great start so there is another question best wishes for the new venture indo gulf farmer llb sir somebody is wishing you we are now thank you journal sustainable revolution in agriculture great can political interference can help in growing the business nilesh is asking can political interference can help in growing business see it's it's a very difficult question <laughs> uh, in fact uh, political interference Uh, is not the right word i think political connections is the right word what i think he wants to understand so uh, being social and being connected to people helps you in some of the uh, areas and uh, may help you uh, to improve your image and people may feel uh, good and more confident sometimes Uh, it uh, your relationship with the uh, the political people may help you help uh, to develop some more confidence on the other people but for business i think uh, for business it's important your hard work your smart work your team your passion your uh, product product is very important your customers these are the primary uh, areas which uh, which are much much important and uh, i rather say that these are the only areas important political uh, connections i don't feel they have much impact on the business it's uh, your personality which impacts your business it's your mindset which impacts your business this is my understanding so, about the business yeah i believe nilesh you could understand that so what is the last message mr agarwal you would like to give to our audience <clears throat> see the world is uh, suffering a lot uh, because of covid and the world power we are everyone is aware every day we are uh, looking and we are frightened also sometimes about this situation so i pray almighty god to bless all the mankind across the globe and uh, make just um, help all of us to come out of this situation and uh, i pray and i uh, wish prosperity of the farmers worldwide i uh, pray for the success of all the businessmen all the startups and uh, i just uh, want to say that uh, don't forget your parents don't forget your gurus don't forget god and if you have the right uh, intentions about your business then there is no one who can stop your business to grow so my thanks to pankaj and thanks to all the viewers thanks a lot for sparing your time to view our conversation thank you very much so uh, thank you very much mr agarwal your each word was a nugget and i think this was a wisdom which people could get it now and all my audience thank you very much every time whenever i have a show you always come live you get the lesson and i am sure this show is helping you a lot to learn and get so thank you very much mr agarwal you spare your time that around 1 hour and because of technical issues we were working before also that more than 1 hour and uh, thank you very much once again that you shared your wisdom and nuggets here and i hope my all the audience liked it in future if they want to ask some questions so you can ask me the questions i will forward it to mr agarwal he would be answering otherwise you can find him on the social media and ask him direct so that he can help you he is so generous and so wonderful man with a a simple notice and simple notice he agreed to come on the show thank you once once again mr agarwal and thank you once again to all my audience